snow is falling out there and at a steady clip. Look at our 21C Museum Hotel live camera. Just a, you know, a half an hour ago, you didn't have this slush running down the lens, but you can see the snowflakes flying fast and furious here in Lexington. And that has been the case for a couple of hours now, and it'll continue to be ca the case into the afternoon. But it's not that way everywhere. Look at this. Way out in Letcher County, it hasn't even started yet. Now, you folks in our southeastern counties did see your first accumulating snow of the season uh, southeast earlier this week. We're getting in on the action here in the bluegrass now, but it will eventually get down to you. And one of the concerns here, road conditions are already deteriorating. We've got road temperatures below freezing here in the bluegrass. Uh, they're coated and they are hazardous. Into our southeastern counties, you're still in better shape. You've got uh, the temperature in the mid to upper 30s there, but it'll be falling through the afternoon as well. So it's all going to eventually catch up to everyone. The max track is lit up with snow. This shows snowfall over the past 12 hours. Numerous reports of about a one to two inch range from the bluegrass where you follow this darker blue out to the west. And with it falling the way it is, we're likely going to see snowfall rates through the afternoon, especially along and south of I-64 in about the one to two inch per hour range, which means it is coming down hard and heavy and it'll be an extended period of time that we're seeing this. So these numbers are going to ramp up fairly quickly. Uh, still have that winter weather advisory out for northern counties and the winter storm warning south and east. And if you talk about snowfall ratios, whenever you uh, typically talk about it, it you've got that liquid equivalent of tenth, or, uh, uh, tenth of an inch. You get an inch of snowfall out of that. Now, when you've got this Arctic air that is nudged in here and it's colder, that's when that ratio goes up and you start to see the fluffier snow and you get the higher snowfall totals. And that's the situation we're into. Uh, we're in the 20s and going to be uh, staying cold into the afternoon. So we will see these higher snowfall ratios. I've got this model set up uh, to show you uh, the potential snowfall out there. And yeah, we're talking about getting up to between about three to six inches of snow here, uh, half a foot for some, and some bands of heavier snow uh, that could very well push those totals even higher. So I think these numbers are still fairly uh, good. Uh, the lowest totals up north is going to be a rapid cutoff. That gradient's going to drop off into northern Kentucky. And you could be talking about much higher totals into our southeastern Kentucky counties. The future track shows we are just in the middle of it as we go through the afternoon. Now, the back edge of it does start to break up. So you can see by the evening commute, if there is one for you, I think a lot of folks are going to try to, uh, you know, cash, cash it in early today. Uh, the roads are going to be in a fairly uh, treacherous condition throughout the afternoon, but that snow is going to rapidly wind down. And then we're going to be left in the deep freeze between the snow on the ground and the Arctic air that's in place. It is going to get really cold, hazardously cold uh, outside later on tonight. Uh, it's a brief hit, but you'll see uh, we've got sunshine on tap for later on tomorrow. That's a brief hit, but it's going to be a, a big one. It's 20 degrees now in Lexington. And even spots that were around freezing, you're down in the upper 20s in London, 27 in Somerset. So that cold air is continuing to nose its way into our southeastern counties. Wind chills down to 11 in Lexington, and it will bottom out in the single digits and eventually go sub-zero by tomorrow morning. Uh, so a frigid Friday morning, coldest air of the season. Even into the afternoon, we're only going to make it back into the 20s for highs with single digit to low teen wind chills hanging on into the afternoon. So, yeah, brace yourself. If you don't have to go anywhere today, a lot of our uh, reporters uh, have been telling you uh, it's probably a good idea not to. Snow will continue moderate to heavy at times. And folks that haven't seen it yet likely will as we get into the afternoon, especially in our eastern counties. Snow showers early on, that bitter wind chill kicks in overnight. And tomorrow, we're only in the mid 20s. And then by Saturday and Sunday, we're bouncing back into the 40s. But obviously, the, the main impact from this had a number of questions this morning. We're going to see ice outlets. No, this is straight up snow and heavy at times. Visibility also problematic just due to that uh, snowfall rate dropping visibility. Now into tomorrow, that wind chill, the range, we're talking anywhere from below zero to single digits throughout much of your Friday. And then you're back in the 40s and you're talking about rain chances into the upcoming weekend. Uh, by the end of the weekend, Sunday, and then another cold shot, temperatures 30 early next week.